YouTubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets, today joined by Master of Thurium. And in this review, guys, we're going to be looking at another version of the Pipeworks Abduction beer, and this is the Pipeworks Passion Abduction. Probably the most random label I've seen on a beer in a while, a guy in a bathtub with an, a tentacle and an alien sitting pooping? <laughs> Very random. But uh, <laughs> as you know, uh, the Abduction is a series of beer they do at Pipeworks, and this is their uh, Abduction brewed with cacao beans, vanilla beans, and passion fruit. Yes. So that sounds pretty interesting. We got it poured. What would you call the color in Duke? Mmm. Fish pie. Yeah. The head is not super dark, like beige, I guess. But it looks nice. Yeah. A little roasty. Yeah. Let's check out the aroma. Oh, there's like a passion oh. fruit, a sorbet type sweetness to it. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's weird. Oh, it smells like passion fruit ice cream almost. Passion fruit ice cream and chocolate and coffee. Yeah, yeah. it's really like what? a, uh, almost like a mandarin sweetness or orange. Yeah, mandarin orange, yeah. yeah. It really reminds oh. me of passion fruit sorbet. Like it, yeah, I agree. Yeah, sort of ice cream. That, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you get that vanilla sweet ice cream mm. almost character, and then the passion fruit. It smells so. It, it's like frozen yogurt in a way. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's similar to That's the really aroma weird. you got on the raspberry abduction, but yeah. the raspberry abduction was more like cake with cakey with like raspberries. This is almost as you say, or like frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt, yeah. That's weird to say about a beer. It smells so good though. There's a lot of passion fruit. And it's not like hop aroma passion fruit or like passion fruit syrup or something like that, but like straight up passion fruit. Yeah, but there's not many traces of the sort of like stout. No, there's a little bit of the coffee. Oh, maybe there's a little bit of chocolatey aromas to it. But a little bit in the back end, but not. Mostly it's working. like, but it was the same with the raspberry abduction. That was like on your own, it was mostly raspberries. Yeah, and, but it smells awesome. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> That's like I sorbet. Get, I get the sorbet, yeah. Well, sorbet. <laughs> this is like passion fruit sorbet with beer. <laughs> That's what? really weird. That is so weird. <laughs> but it's really good. It tastes good, yeah. The, all, like, almost all the beers from Pipeworks are so strange. Do you remember the last one we had, the Sommelier? The spiced yeah. wheat wine? Yeah. Oh, this is a lot better than that, I think. But I yeah. More stout characters on the aftertaste. I'm getting roast and coffee on the aftertaste. Like, a... a, a Pretty dark roast and coffee flavor. But I think almost it has sort of the similes to a um, uh, the uh, rhubarb um, hints. Rhubarb, or, uh, raspberry, yeah. or rhubarb. Yeah, rhubarb or raspberry, sort of a like a. It's not like sweet uh, cherry or um, or uh, what do you say? No. Uh, strawberries or anything. It's like a sticky or like sharp jammy flavor, maybe. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. It's almost like you took an imperial stout and mm. took a little scoop of passion fruit sorbet and dunked into it. Oh, a lot of it. Nicely. <laughs> a lot of it. Yeah. But I think it's it's pretty good. I mean it's Quite it's unique. different for yeah. like having fruity imperial stouts, but I think it pretty much works well with like the vanilla sweetness and the coca bean. Yeah, that's probably because what, what helps it to be a um that frozen yogurt thing. Mm -hmm. It's, like that. it's yeah. quite different for a sort of a Traditional imperial stuff, but still, and what like all flavors in, in any way? No, no, but a different take on an imperial yeah. stuff. Um, passion fruit is one of my all time favorite type of tropical fruits, and that sense I really like it. I think I like it a little bit more than the raspberry abduction just because it's tropical fruit forward. Mm. And you know, like I'm a big fan of sorbet as well. And when I say it tastes kind of like tropical fruit sorbet or passion fruit sorbet, I think it's great. But it's not all the way up in like 95 or something like that. So I'm, I'm gonna go 92. I still think it's an mm. awesome ass beer. Uh, the fruit gives an another dimension. Uh, so yeah, I dig it. I gave the raspberry a 90, but this is a little better, I think, because I love the tropical flavors. I think I'm a little bit more conservative in the. Uh, this being a, an imperial star, so I'm gonna go 85 for this. I think it could have a little more of these stout elements in it. Um, it says a passion fruit beer. Yeah, know. yeah, sure. But I was, for my taste, I would prefer it to be a little more like. Well, again, you're not, you're not super into the beers with a lot of different adjuncts, like spicy beers and stuff like no. that. No. 
But I, I, I dig it. To me, it's like it it's makes it, it's it's almost like a, a sorbet imperial stout float without the ice cream or the, the sorbet. <laughs> yeah, I dig it. So yeah, a 92 for me and 85 from the Duke for the nice Duke. Um, Pipeworks Passion Fruit Abduction. Really interesting series of beers. I love that they do it in so many weird ways. It's pretty fun. So guys, definitely, definitely let us know what you think of the Passion Fruit Abduction if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and Instagram. And we're gonna say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another video.